Hey, we're Flick and Joe, and this is our dog, Walter. In 2022, we made the crazy decision to quit our full-time jobs, pack up our lives, and move aboard our Blue Water sailing boat. We spent many months refitting her and getting her ready for our plans until one day we actually did it. We cast off the lines, we pointed her south, and off we went. We've now sailed over a thousand nautical miles, dodging orcas, yes, actually, and most of the rocks along the way. Join us for the beautiful, quite stressful but endlessly eventful life that is full-time living aboard. In this week's episode, we sail through an endless sea of fog, flick does some exercise, and we explore the beautiful surface paradise that is Nazare. Not good visibility for water today. when you're in the Arctic. It's a new experience for everyone. Above this, it's this up to night the tow rail, uh, not the tow rail. It's up to the guardrail. Together, I don't know. These are really far apart, yeah. and not because of that, they're not steep at all. Yeah. So they're not very rocky, even though they're massive. Yeah. It's yeah, four knots of wind. They stay really far apart for the rest of the journey. That would be lovely. When we looked at predict wind, we were looking at the weather tracker. It said that we were predicted to have these like big seas, but it said they were all meant to be behind us. So I was thinking that it would like be pushing us along, so we'd be going a bit faster, but it seems to all be on our side. We are slightly surfing them though. Yeah. GPS speed keeps going between like five and six knots. Okay, that's good. 
because the wind's starting to pick up now. First bit of land we've seen all day. We've been motoring now for I think about five hours. We're about 45 minutes away from Nazar, which is our destination today. It's supposed to be a 35 mile trip. And this is the first bit of land we've seen the entire way. Even though we've been less than a mile away from the coast the whole way we've just been shrouded in fog so yeah no, i'm very excited it's quite cliffy they're like proper cliff cliff faces um well, this has been our weather for today very foggy and not very warm and we just had to concentrate all day as well because, well, we're in fog. You can't see much further than, say, 50 metres past the, the boat. So we're watching for fishing boys, other boats, um, mainly fishing boys. The fishing boys sort of scare me more than anything. You just do not want to get them wrapped around the prop and then we lose the motor. But luckily, touch, touch wood, we've seen nothing so far and we're almost at our next destination, the home of the infamous wave, the monster, monster waves of Nazaire. But hopefully we won't get any of those as we're trying to get into the marina for the night. <laughs> there's, no there's no anchorages on this bit of coast. Um, yeah, because it's the home of monster waves. So we're going to tuck ourselves into a marina for a couple nights. It might be quite a while because looking at the forecast, we're not going to have... Our next journey is 65 miles south to get to uh, Cascais, which is near Lisbon. And there's no wind really at all now for a while. So either we're going to motor for um, 65 miles, which is 11 and a half hours of motoring. That's quite a chunk of motoring. Or we wait we wait for some wind, which I think we might do because Nazaire is supposed to be a pretty cool place. We might do some surfing, um, explore the town and catch up on work as well. We've got quite a lot of uh, both of us or we've got quite a lot of work to do. Accounting work, marketing work, which is what Flick does. And we can also catch up with some of the YouTube edits we need to get on with. After a long cruise with the gentle thrum of our engine, our constant companion, we made it into the Nazare Marina. We came in under heavy fog and Joe steered us cleanly through the entrance and the marina guys at Nazare were amazing. Spotted us before we'd even radioed and they were expecting us when we came through.
We ended up in Nazare for a week, which we weren't entirely expecting, but the weather wasn't really on our side and we were sick of sailing in fog and no wind. So our week in Nazare as non-surfers was filled with alternative methods of entertainment, which you'll see. You can actually see where we came from. <laughs> That's awesome. Do it again. <laughs> Walter's very confused by it. That's it for this week's episode. Stay tuned for next weekend as more drama unfolds. The prop shaft disappears out the back of the engine room and we start sinking.